Today, we're gonna go check out Cape May. We went there when we were staying in Cape Henlopen, Delaware. We took the ferry from Lewis over to Cape May and had an awesome time. We hope you enjoyed it as well. I'm Kevin. And I'm Amy. And we're Camping, Camping Companions. Companions. Located not far from the entrance of our campground at Cape Henlopen, Delaware, is the ferry that will shuttle you over to Cape May, New Jersey. And if you'd like to see our campground review of Cape Henlopen, Delaware, just click here. If you're worried about your vehicle being too large, don't be. We saw everything from motorcycles to semis getting on the ferry. The tickets are reasonably priced at $18 per person, and if you want to take a vehicle over, it's $69 for the vehicle. They'd like you there an hour before your departure time, so we had plenty of opportunity to watch the next boat come in, unload the cars, and then watch the new ones go on. It was really awesome, and you know, it's just an experience we've never had before. about social distancing here. You can tell this isn't their first rodeo. They line these cars up like they've been doing this for years. It was really cool to watch and you have plenty of time so get up on top of that deck and watch them go to work. It was really neat. Once on the Cape May side, there's a free shuttle service that takes you around the island, but due to COVID, they were closed, so we had to Uber everywhere we went. This is the St. Atlantis, a concrete ship built in World War I, purchased in 1926 to be the first Cape May ferry to go between Cape May and Lewis. It didn't work out very well as you can see, and here it sits to this day. Another Uber ride took us over to Washington Street Mall. If you've never been there, it's the main tourist attraction where most of the shops, restaurants, and this cute little park can be found. We decided to stop at Delaney's to have lunch and got ourselves their world famous lobster roll. Congress Hall is a motel hotel that was converted from an 1800s building. We were told it's been restored back to its original glory and it's glorious. Surprised to see the New England architecture and style reach so far south in New Jersey, but it was very welcome. We loved every minute of it. It's so neat just to walk around these old towns and experience the culture.
As we were walking down a little side street, we saw this on the side of a building. Anybody who's as much of a Food Network junkie as we are knows exactly what this is. We only had the afternoon to experience all that Cape May had to offer. I'm sure we missed a bunch. And if we did, comment below because we're going back. We want to know what to see the next time we go down there.